In Something Like Fate, Lani is the main character, and she is an environmental activist. She's very into green living, and she falls in love with her best friend's boyfriend, Jason, and her best friend is Aaron. So it's partially a story about forbidden love, but also, more than that, Lani feels that Jason is her soulmate. So it's not just the angst of, I'm in love with my best friend's boyfriend, what do I do? But it's, oh my God, her boyfriend is my soulmate. And the reason the book is called Something Like Fate is I explore all of these different ideas of fate and how much control we have over our lives versus how much fate has control over our lives. Lonnie and Aaron, they've dedicated this year to learning as much as they can about fate, fate-related topics. So they made this chart where every month they study a different area. So one month they're studying graphology, which is investigating what your handwriting says about you. One month they study tarot cards, how those work. Another month it's palmistry. Their goal is by the end of the school year, they're gonna be experts on everything that has to do with fate. These girls believe that there's more to this world than what we can see, which I think is very powerful because I certainly believe there's an energy out there um, that I usually call the universe. And the universe does all these powerful, amazing, cool things. And we don't always know why they're happening, but if we trust that the universe is leading us down the right path, that we're gonna end up where we belong, then in a way we're kind of making peace with the future, which is a scary thing to do, to say that, you know, I'm, I'm scared but it's okay because I'm gonna end up where I belong. But that's something that Lonnie and Aaron are able to do because they believe in fate and they believe in this energy. I want my readers to take away the sense of possibility and to know that there's infinite happiness in the world and everyone deserves to be happy.